The first time you use the Kinetic Fit app, you will need to create an account. Select Sign Up, then input your email and create a password and profile name. If you had been using the InRide app, you will be asked if you wish to migrate your profile data. This will move your history into the Fit app. Now you will want to input profile data. Select the Profile button in the upper left. To edit a field, tap the field and make your changes. All the workouts are based on your Functional Threshold Power, or FTP. The app has a default FTP set. If you know what yours is, you can edit that. There are also a couple options for FTP tests in the app. Zones are populated based on that FTP. You also enter your max heart rate. If you don't know your max heart rate, a good estimate is 220 minus your age. You will also connect to your accounts for sharing of workout data in your profile. To connect, tap the icon next to the one you want to connect to and input login data. Once it is connected, you will be able to upload to that site either at the workout or from your history. To share to Facebook, you will need to have your account connected under the device settings. To pair with your sensors, first give the trainer a spin to wake up the in-ride sensor. And if you have the heart rate strap, put that on. Tap the sensors button. Your sensor should be displayed. To pair with the sensor, Tap the red icon next to it. Tap the back arrow to return to the home screen. To start a workout, tap the big green button on the home screen. Workouts are categorized based on the seven power zones. Select the category, then select the workout within the category. To begin, tap warm up. You will do a 10 minute warm up followed by a calibration. To calibrate, accelerate past the target speed and follow the on screen prompts. Then select start workout. Video stored on your device can be viewed on a second screen during a workout. After you've selected your workout, select video and pick the video you want to watch. Then start warm up. Video will begin playing when you've completed warm up and calibration. If you have a Sufferfest video on your device and will be mirroring it to a second screen, select the category the Sufferfest, choose the workout that corresponds with the video that you have, then select video, select your video and play. Then begin your warm up. After you've completed the warm up and calibration, the video will begin playing on your second screen along with the workout. To view past workouts, tap the history button. To view a workout, tap that workout, then details. Swipe between screens to view time and zones in power and heart rate.
to upload the workout, tap the upload button. All the options you configured in your profile will be available to share. Tap the back arrow and finished. To add or edit the data shown during a workout, select Displays. Swipe left to view the stock display. You can have as many as nine data points on the screen or as few as one. If you wish to change a cell, tap that cell, then select what you want to replace it. To add another screen, select Add and swipe and populate with whatever you want. When you're finished, click the back arrow and yes.